Hey everyone, it's me Preeti. In my previous video, I have taught you how to eliminate the duplicate elements which are present in an array uh, in a very simpler method. And I have told you that, you'll, that I will be discussing uh, about collections as well. And using collections, we can also eliminate duplicates in a very and very simple method. So it is just uh, we are adding our array elements into a set and set can never accept a duplicate elements. So since it never accepts a duplicate elements, it will only accept a unique elements. It will just print out the unique elements. So this is one of the most simpler method uh, to use collections and to eliminate the duplicate elements present in an array. But then to know about the set, you, you must first need to know about the collections as well. So collections is one of the huge topic and also the very efficient topic to be learned if you are trying to learn Java or any other programming languages because all the programming languages has this topic called collections and which is very important. Under collections, there are again several topics which is uh, mainly array list, linked list, double A linked list, single A linked list, hash, set, tree, map, and many more. And each of them have different properties and many advantages. So it overcomes all the disadvantages which are not being uh, uh, satisfied uh, by something and they are now working better by using collections. So we have no such any methods which will eliminate the duplicates uh, like that so but set does it will never accept a uh, redundant elements to be stored in it it will only accept a unique elements so using this uh, using this uh, method you can easily eliminate the duplicates instead of writing a very huge logic so i hope you people understood so i'll show you how to use a set how to declare or how to get that set and how to perform operations using that how to traverse a set and so on so i'll just uh, take everything off and I'll show you from the beginning so I have initialized and declared an array you have you can see it now I'll show you how to get that set so these two are the packages you need to import or it will get imported automatically when you will give control space okay so give set give control plus space you will get set Java util you can see right give enter so e is a data type you want to use take that e out and try typing i n t and again give space so you will you will get control space integer and what is the name of a set you want to give i'll just give set this is type kind of giving a name to a variable is equals to new hash set hash set right so hash set is the one which will never allow duplicates to enter so when you gave a control space enter control space enter you can see these two packages are imported right importing of such packages is very important if you don't import that package your set would never work now i'm iterating a for loop of this array so that this individual elements of an array will get stored into set so i'll iterate int i is equals to zero i less than array dot length and i plus plus so i'm adding individual elements from the for loop into set by giving set dot add array of i right so i hope you people understood how this works moving on i'm taking another i'm just initializing another array so that i'll store this set values into that array uh, I, I, i'll just print the resultant in an array so that i'll take another array int result is equals to new int and it should have a size of that set i mean size is nothing but a length length we use it in arrays and the size is we use it in collection topic so i'll take int i is equals to zero so that to iterate a loop now to iterate this I'll take for each loop. You can also take follow, but I take for each. 
so here I'll give the name of the variable as value and I'm storing the result which is presenting which is present in set into a variable called value okay now I'm just incrementing the array which I have taken and I'm storing the value or the result which is present here into my newly declared array result okay and I'll increment i when the loop iterates each time so that when loop iterates for the first time the zeroth index position contains a zeroth value the second in first index position will contain the first value and second will contain the second so that each time when the loop iterates correspondingly the index position value contains corresponding index value that is the reason so people for each loop is very similar to use instead of using for loop i think i suggest you to use for each all the time now finally i have got i have stored the value into my resultant array now i'll just iterate this loop and i'll print my result for int j is equals to zero j less than j, j should be always less than result dot length and j plus plus And finally print the result R E S U L T J. Right, so just save and print it. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to print it on the same line. So we'll just do this way. Yes, so I have been doing this uh, from my previous videos as well that is to print the result on the horizontal way it should be separated by spaces so people so this is the output we're using collections i have eliminated all the duplicates and i have print only the unique elements so set which is very important in collection topics and a very easy way to eliminate the duplicates and to print the unique elements so I hope you people understood that how to eliminate the duplicates using collections. If you didn't understand or if you have any queries, please do let me know in the comments. I'll surely get back to you and I'll, and I'll, I'll try to make you understand in an even more better way. So please do share, subscribe and uh, tell your friends how to do your learn sets. And that is how to do a learn collection topics. And please do ask them to visit or to see this video on the learn the logic. So thanks for watching. Do uh, keep watching my next videos as well. I'll be coming up with different coding questions on arrays, which are very important in your interview preparations because the same questions are being asked everywhere based on arrays. Thanks for watching. Please do keep watching. Thanks.